Okay, another MTAP reviewer for 2020. So, ang mga questions po na to is from MTAP 2019 Elimination Round with complete solution and explanation. So, number 21 na po ito. For more videos po, um, please don't forget to like, um, subscribe, and click the bell button para updated po kayo sa mga uploads ko. Okay, so let's have number 1. If A plus A plus B plus B equals 14, and A plus A plus A plus B equals 13, what is A? Okay, so ito po yung solution natin. Okay, so i-add natin yung A plus A plus B plus B equals 14. So A plus A is 2A, and then B plus B is 2B. Then we have the new equation 2A plus 2B equals 14. Okay, um, i-simplify natin. So, we're going to divide both sides by 2. So, 2 divided by, uh, 2A divided by 2 is A. So, 2B divided by 2 is B. Then, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So, therefore, we have new equation A plus B equals 7. And then, dun sa, um, A plus A plus A plus B equals 13. Ayan, A plus A plus A is 3A plus B equals 13. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang equation dito, yung a plus b equals 7, and then yung isa pa is 3a plus b equals 13. So, yun yung new equations na nabuo natin. And then, the first step is to solve for b. So, in order to solve for b, okay, um, pwede natin gamitin yung addition property of equality dito. Kaya lang, ang ginawa ko is to transpose na lang yung a. So, positive make it negative. So, therefore, we have B equals negative A plus 7. To solve for A, we need to substitute the value of B, which is negative A plus 7. Uh, doon sa, nyo, sa equation natin na 3A plus B equals 13. Okay, then we have 3A plus negative A plus 7 equals 13. And then we simplify Positive multiply by negative A, the answer is negative A. Then positive multiply by 7, positive 7, and the answer is positive 7. Therefore, we have 3A minus A plus 7 equals 13. And then next, um, pwede, na rin, pwede natin i-apply ang addition property of equality tulad na sinabi ko. But this time again, ginamit ko yung transpose na shortcut. Okay, transpose ko yung 7 doon sa kabilang side, sa right side. So, therefore, positive 7 make it negative 7. Okay, then simplify. 3a minus a is 2a equals 13 minus 7. Then, 2a equals 6, 13 minus 7 is 6. Therefore, we have 2a equals 6. Okay, to solve for a, we divide both sides by 2. So, therefore, 2 divided, uh, 2a divided by 2 is a. It is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3. Therefore, ang value ng a natin is 3. Okay, next problem. There are 130 mangoes and orange trees in the farm. The number of mango trees is 20 more than the number of orange tree. How many mango trees are there? Okay, solution. So, pag pinagsama natin yung mango trees and orange trees, this equal to 130. Doon sa statement na mango trees is more than the number of orange trees, so, mag assign tayo ng variable para doon sa orange tree, which is x. Um, if the orange trees is x, then yung mango tree daw is 20, 20 more than, uh, 20 more than the number of orange. So, therefore, x plus 20. Okay, so now, um, let's have the solution. We have x plus 20 plus x. I-add natin yung dalawa. Equals 130. So, yun yung new equation natin. And then, simplify x plus x equals 2x plus 20 equals 130. And then, we transpose 20 to the other side. So, positive 20 make it negative 20. Then now, we have 2x equals 130 minus 20. 120 or 130, sorry, minus 20 is 110. So, we have 2x equals 110. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 2. So, 2x divided by 2 is x and then 110 divided by 2 is 
55. So, therefore, our x is 55, which is yun yung orange trees. x is 55. Um, mango trees is 20 more than the number of orange trees. Okay, so we have x plus 20. So, substitute natin yung value ng x na 55 plus 20. The answer is 75. So, the question, how many mango trees are there? The answer is 75. Okay, number 3. They went to the mall at 11.30 a.m. and left at 3.45 p.m. How long did she stay in the mall? So, i-convert muna natin yung 3.45 p.m sa uh, 24 hour settings. Okay? So, 3.45 p.m. i-add natin yung 12. So, since p.m. na yon, So, 3.45 plus 12 is 15.45. And then, iso-subtract natin yung 11.30 a.m. So, 15.45 diba, minus 11.30 the answer is 4.15. So, ibig sabihin 4 hours and 15 minutes siya nag-stay sa mall. Okay, number four. Students' scores in five 30-point quizzes are 18, 25, 16, 24, and 22. Find the average score. Okay, solution. To find the average, uh, we need to find the sum of the scores divided by the number of cases. Okay, number of cases kung ilan yung items na yun or ilan yung number na yun. Uh, let's have uh, find the sum of the scores. We have 18 plus 25 plus 16 plus 24 plus 22. 18 is uh, pang first. Uh, sorry. 18 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And lima yung number of cases natin. So, we're going to divide it by 5. So, the answer is 105 divided by 5. So, 105 divided by 5, the answer is 21. So, the average score is 21. Okay, number five, a newborn baby weighs three and three fifth kilograms. The mom 16 two third times as much as the baby. What is the mom's weight? Okay. okay, solution po natin is to convert the mixed number into improper fraction. So three and three fifth it is equal to and we multiply five times uh, five times three plus three. The answer is eighteen over five. And then 16 and 2 third, it is equal to 3 times 16 plus 2 equals 50 over 3. Okay, and then i-multiply natin yung dalawa. So, 18 over 5 times 50 over 3. Okay, shortcut na yung gagawin natin. So, 18 divided by 3 is 6. 50 divided by 5 is 10. And then we multiply 6 times 10, the answer is 60. Therefore, the mom's weight is 60 kilograms. Thank you for listening and then please tap the like, subscribe, and bell button for more videos. Thank you. Uh, pang number 21 na po ito. So, meron pa po akong mga videos. Ayan. So, pwede nyo pong i-browse or um, hanapin po sa, sa channel ko. Thank you.